Hello everybody, welcome back to some Fallout 4. You might notice we're back on the Pridwin, even though I said that we had done all the quests that we could right now. Did a little bit more research, it turns out I was wrong. You're not the guy I need. Uh, there is actually one more quest we can do on here. Now, unfortunately, we need to find Lance of Captain right. Kells, which is ironic since later we will be needing to avoid him entirely, but right now we need to find him. Not here. Because uh, he does have one quest for us to do. That actually all takes place on the Bridwick, uh, or in the airport, I guess. So I mean, we should be able to knock it out rather quickly if I uh, knew where he was. Because <laughs> oh, excuse me. Fuck. Trying to minimize. All right, where the hell are you? Adjusting compression rate. Um. System deltas at one hundred percent. Secondary deltas standing by. Damn it! It's not really telling me where his location is. But yeah, I looked into the Brotherhood quests a bit more. They actually don't have that many. Like, I thought that there was way more Brotherhood quests. Uh, there actually is another quest that we could pick up. Uh, Station keeping maintained. Where uh, we can collect blood samples. But it's just another random quest like the technical documents. Except uh, we would be getting a lot more, obviously. A lot of things we can get blood from. Uh... And depending on how we finish the game. I think the way I plan on finishing the game will make it so that I can't actually get rid of the quest. Like, the quest won't leave. Ah, there we go. Hold up, Knight. Captain. Let me make one thing clear. As a member of the Brotherhood, you serve under my command. If you want my respect, you will have to earn it. When I give you a mission, I expect results. Is that clear? Perfectly. Good. I've received reports that supplies have been disappearing from our supply depot at the airport. I suspect this may be an inside job. If so, that's a serious security risk. That's what worries me. If there is a traitor, our entire operation here could be in jeopardy. I want you to take charge of this investigation. Report to Knight Sergeant Gavel at the base. He commands our logistics division. He can familiarize you with his unit and the depot. Beyond that, you have leave to conduct your investigation as you see fit. Report your findings directly to me. Is that clear? Do I need to keep my investigation a secret? It's too late for that. Rumors have already begun to spread. Sergeant Gavel and his team will be expecting you. But that only makes your task more difficult. Whoever is doing this will have had time to prepare. Is there anything else I should know? Gavel will fill you in on the details. But from my perspective, the strangest thing is what was stolen. Rations. Only rations. I don't know what to make of it, but it is curious. Yes, sir. I expect results. See that I get them. Dismissed. He really goes, like, back and forth, right? All right. Uh, did it not activate that quest? It Somebody did not for some reason. I yeah. thought it automatically it's activated any quest if you didn't have one selected, but I guess not. Hail Knight. All right. Why am I going down to the airport? Is he really down there? I thought the okay. I thought it, we needed to talk to the guy in the cage, but I didn't actually remember what his name was. I just kind of assumed that that's who we were going to talk to, but I guess not. Tip the Brahmin with a vertebrate. Now that's a challenge. You think? Tip cow tipping with a fucking helicopter, basically. Like, come on. Let me guess. Captain Kell sent you. Sure enough. The captain said you could brief me on the missing supplies. Let's take this somewhere more private. Follow me. 
We've converted this section of the terminal into our primary supply depot. Everything the Brotherhood needs to operate passes through here. Supplies from the Pridwin, salvage from the field, we handle it all. Access is strictly limited to the logistics detail, and we track every crate, every bullet, every bolt that comes through that door. Which is why I don't take kindly to these accusations. I know every soldier in this unit. The thought that anyone would question their loyalty makes me sick. If you've got questions, ask. Otherwise, stay out of our way. Watch your tone, Sergeant. Sir. Hmm. Where should I begin my investigation? You shouldn't. This is a waste of time. I've already spoken with my men. They haven't seen anything. Tegan's scribes just fouled up the books again. If you insist on questioning someone, go bother Lucia or Clark. I can spare them. Lucia and Clark? Knight Lucia and Initiate Clark. They were just posted to this detail a few weeks ago. They're still learning their way around, but I'll have them in shape soon enough. If you have to badger someone with your questions, it might as well be them. His voice sounds familiar. Tell me about the missing supplies. We're down over 20 crates, if you believe the scribes. All food. Dried meat, Instamash, mac and cheese. It doesn't make sense. I could see someone stealing weapons or tech, but our thief goes to all this trouble for a lifetime supply of cram. Tell me about the logistics division. I've been in charge of this unit for almost 10 years now. We're a small group. We stick together. And we keep the Brotherhood running. That's all for now, Sergeant. Take my advice. Poke around a little. Then tell the captain to let it go. It's not worth your time or mine. All right. Let's go chat with these people. <laughs> yeah, I think I took this key from Coro. Like, you hear about the stuff. thefts, right? Here. Look, I already told Sergeant Gavel everything I know. You already spoke with Gavel? He questioned the entire unit. None of us saw anything. Look, I want to get to the bottom of this as much as anyone. What do you want to know? Tell me about the missing supplies. I really don't know anything. I've heard the rumors same as everyone else. But that's all. What rumors have you heard? Well, they say raiders with stealth boys hit the terminal every night. That supplies disappear faster than we can bring them in. It's a lot of garbage. I usually work the night shift. Believe me, the only thing you risk dying of is boredom. What's the security situation here like? We're in the middle of a hardened military base under constant guard. Nothing's getting in or out of here without us knowing about it. You really think the base is that secure? I do. And even if something did make it into the supply depot, there are knights on duty in here at all times. We'd see something. Tell me about the logistics unit. There are what, ten of us now? Something like that. Our division reports to Proctor Teagan, up on the Pridwin. Sergeant Gavel handles day-to-day -day operations. He's run logistics for years. Other than the sergeant, there's Lucia, me, the scribes, and a few other knights who aren't fit for field duty. Lucia? <laughs> Excuse me. Night, Lucia. We joined the Brotherhood together. She'll probably get assigned to a patrol team soon. Me? I'll still be stuck here. That's all, Initiate. Sir? Okay. Not too much help there, but I'm Unless surprising. Unless you like getting shot, never turn your back on a gunner. Copper wire. Copper wire. Could you tell me where... Oh, I'm sorry, I don't think we've met. Knight Lucia, Logistics. What can I do for you, Knight? Do you have time for some questions? Oh. You must be here about the missing supplies. I'm not sure I can be of much help, but, um... What do you want to know? Do you know anything about the missing supplies? Not really. I've heard it's mostly food and, um... Vacuum tubes? No, sorry. They just lost those. You lost some vacuum tubes? How often are supplies lost around here? Someone had just filed them in the wrong place, apparently. Clark found them the next day. A little things do happen, but it never amounts to much. The sergeant may complain, but Proctor Teagan and his scribes are very thorough. One or two crates, maybe, but 
Not this many. What's the security like around here? It's tight. At least two knights and a scribe on duty at all times. And we've got the entire base right here. We don't have much to worry about. Is there any way to get past all that security? Hmm. Well, you'd have to be in logistics. We're the only ones authorized to bring supplies in or out. Then what? Well, there's no way you'd get a full crate of supplies off base. With all the patrols, someone would notice. But why steal anything in the first place? The Brotherhood provides everything we need. No one here has any connection to the Commonwealth. That I don't you know, know about. None of this makes any sense. What's it like working in logistics? It's not a bad post. Sergeant Gavel is tough, but I've learned a lot from working here. I guess some people take to it and some don't. Like Clark. What about Clark? We joined the Brotherhood around the same time, about two years ago. We've always been friends. Well, until recently. Why? What happened? It was, uh... It was after the battle. The battle? Battle for the airport. It was our first real combat mission. It was something to see. The Pridwin coming in under full vertebrate escort. Guns blazing. We were one of the first teams to hit the ground. Dozens of ferals. We opened fire and cut them down. And hunted the ones that tried to run. It was everything I had hoped for. But Clark... He hasn't been the same since. It's like he's just given up. Since then, I've noticed him slipping off by himself. Once or twice a day. I never thought much of it, but... Do you think you could follow him? See what he's doing? His shift should be over in a few minutes. Maybe it's nothing, but... I'm worried about him. Alright. tempers the strong and breaks the weak. If that is what happened, he wouldn't be the first. It's not much of a lead, but let's see where it takes us. Will do. Right. That's it for today. Now, I don't know how much there is to following people in this game, because it's not really something you do, right? Like, have we ever had another quest that we that, that was like, follow somebody? Like, I don't think that we have to worry about being detected by him or anything. I mean, which is especially good since I have Dance with me. And he's not exactly the stealthiest of characters. And goes out, looks out over the, the view. I mean, it's a good view, right? Not bad. You know, he's walking like somebody that we'd actually have to hide from and to follow and whatnot and like these kind of missions in other games, but <sighs> once again, I don't think that we really have to worry too much about it. Like, oh no, we're detected. Hey, what are you doing out here? Enjoying the view. I'm just out for a walk, initiate. Don't sneak up behind me like that. This place is bad enough. I'm gonna head back in a few minutes. Don't wait up. Okay, so look at that. You actually do have to more or less hide from. Kind of. I mean, obviously you cannot. Apparently talk your way out of it. But... Come on, dance. Really? There we go. Now, I don't... I'm not sure I've done this quest before, being honest. Doesn't really seem familiar to me. Man, he's standing there for quite a while, isn't he? I can tell that like he didn't go through a door because it's not like a a static marker. It's like wiggling just that little bit. Also got an achievement when I turned this on today. Thought it was really weird. It's an achievement from Starfield. 
my the power knocked out my internet the other day, and for some reason my Xbox doesn't automatically reconnect to it. And uh, so when I was playing Starfield yesterday, instead of reconnecting, I just said fuck it and uh, played Starfield. And it uh, turns out that I got an achievement for finishing 30 activities or something. Dude, what are you doing? Just piss off already. Excuse me. Uh huh. Okay, clearly you were going somewhere, so let's just see where you were going. Oh, did I just need to get further away? Is that the problem? I mean, odds are it's this door, right? Requires a key, so let's go over here. Shit. All right, into the ruins we go. The old terminal ruins. Survey team said they had collapsed. What's he doing down here? Oh, only one way to find out. Well, I guess we know which way he's going. Facilities. Looks like we got ghouls. Let me guess. Place would have Gotta find the card. Individuals. Fortunately, my training prevents. Wait, what was that? <laughs> Most people would be scared of this. Place. They're under the base. Open fire. Ad Victorium. Target eliminated. I mean, yeah. I thought for a second there it wasn't going to attack me, but no, it definitely did. Anything useful? Uh, not really. I mean, keep auto caps, but nothing. Okay. I oh, didn't need that. I don't know why I read that as something else. I'm not even sure what I read it as. Very clearly some pants. Oh, what's this? Knight Rylan, eh? Alright, let's see. Oh my. Well, I mean... I mean, I see a fucking cheating ghoul. Like, damn. At least two of those shots were, like, directly on his chest and just went right through him. Come on, give me that. There we go. Hate fighting stuff in the water. so hard to loot them without just gulping down fucking stank ass sewer water that with dead bodies floating in it, right? Like, yeah, that's what I want to drink. This is the <laughs> The job that you love is clearing out ghouls. That's weird, dude. I can see, like, not caring about killing ghouls, but enjoying it is a bit much. Remember the Citadel! Tango Did some... down. What the hell blew up on it? Remember the Citadel? Did something happen to it? I mean, I'm pretty sure at the end of Fallout 3 it was fine. Unless that... No, that was the Citadel, right? Like, where the Brotherhood of Steel was set up and everything? I'm reasonably certain that it was... Well, I guess it... 
depends, because I think the end of Fallout 3, the Broken Steel DLC, I think that whole DLC is about getting Liberty Prime and uh, going after the Enclave. I don't think we're alone. You think? I'm currently shooting at something. Uh, but yeah, I think it was all about getting Liberty Prime and then going after the Enclave, right? And I think you could betray the Brotherhood and get the Enclave. I mean, or help the Enclave. I mean, I'm not 100% sure on that. It's been an insanely long time since I played Fallout 3, so don't even take my word for that a little bit. But I mean, it sounds like something you'd be able to do in Fallout. I mean, they... And, well... I guess it's kind of hit and miss with Bethesda, Bethesda, with Bethesda games, whether you can uh, have different factions. I feel like they do maybe a little better with it in uh, I think we're being stalked. in Fallout than in Skyrim. Like in Skyrim, they basically give you the factions and are like, Mission accomplished. here's your factions, here's where you can join them. They're going to have... An opposing faction like the companions and silver hand right but you're not going to be able to do anything with the with the opposing faction right because we have declared that these are the good guys or in the case of like the brotherhood of steel the the slightly bad guys well no they're bad guys i mean let's face it they killed a woman on her wedding day just to get somebody else to show up into the city i mean That's definitely not a good guy. Would do. Oh, a good guy may fake someone's death in order to get a guy, or in order to get their true target to come to the city. But I mean, yeah. Either way, my point is, is that in Fallout, you generally can switch factions, or like you know, screw over one faction or the other. I mean, even in this game, right, we have, I mean, we basically have the Institute or the other three factions. And I mean, like, the Brotherhood obviously doesn't like any of the other factions. Come on, die. Ah, that was a lot of ghouls in there. Alright, uh, let's see. Did I have... I, I did have further this way I could go. Good god, there's a lot of ferals down there. Oh, there's a glowing one. Oh. <laughs> Dance! You are supposed to be a fucking paladin with the Brotherhood. Learn to fucking aim your shit, bro. Come on. Like, how you... Like, how are you fucking hitting a stationary car when you don't want to? Anyway... Like I said, a lot of fucking ferals in this place. Now, it's entirely possible that we could have snuck past them, but... Feral of... but I doubt that I could have done it with dance. Oh, no. Dome. Can't be. Higher. Could be. I'm in. Show enough. Alright. Turret control? Yes, please. Turret override. Override parameters. Now, how many turrets are two turrets connected? Let's activate. Now, odds are this will be completely pointless. Because odds are that is there so that I can activate the turret so that they will blast all the ghouls that are in here, but obviously. 
we already took care of them. <laughs> Future proofing. Not that that's actually a thing. But... Oh, which reminds me. One thing I like that I found out about Starfield that I really enjoy. Uh, which is a weird thing to enjoy. Doesn't respawn facilities. Like buildings and that. Like if you go into a building, kill everyone in that building, come back later, they're all still dead. It will despawn bodies in that, but... It uh, also has a much better lockpicking minigame, mainly because it's actually like a skill-based thing. It's kind of like a puzzle, instead of just basically luck like Fallout and Skyrim. But uh, <laughs> based on some of the stuff I've been reading online, people aren't good at it. Like, there's a lot of people that are like, oh, I gotta buy Digipix at like every... Every time I can because I Harry constantly am running out of them and that. From the water. Then there's me going through picking everything including master locks, right? Like I get my security skill up high enough like as fast like as soon as I could so that I could unlock uh, master level locks and uh, and I'm having no trouble. Like I'm still gaining digipix, which is what the lockpicks are called in that game. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm still gaining. I, like, I don't gain nearly as many as, like, lockpicks in that. Like, if I looked, I probably have, like, a few hundred lockpicks or bobby pins in this game. Oh, dude, yes. Let's unlock this terminal, because it also says security. I might be able to clear out the ghouls for me. Shots. No. Deeds. Uh, no. Seals. Could be. Nope. Types. Nope. Seeds. Nope. Vents. Uh, maybe. Maybe. There we go. Yep. More turret control. Also, a really weird thing was doing a mission in uh, Starfield. Came across this terminal that was attached to these two boxes, and I was like, "Whatever you do, do not activate these robots because they're because we got them from this other place and they're hostile and that yada yada yada, right?" Uh, and then for some reason, gave me the same options. Oh, the turrets must be going. As every other terminal that I've seen connected to... Oh my god, look at them all. Uh, but yeah, connected to every other terminal that's been connected to a robot. Where I have the option to alter friend or foe to make them friendly to me. And then activate them. And so I did. Because I'm like, either they're going to come out and help. Which, just like the turrets, isn't really the case. Since we I... Have uh, a problem. I mean, I did activate the turrets, right? Like, I'm not cr going crazy here. Oh, no, not, no, don't deactivate them. Reactivate them. Thank you. I lost them. I mean, I can see it active. It just doesn't seem to be shooting anything, which is odd. I mean, there seem to be a lot of feral ghouls in there. But it looks like my turrets are out here, which obviously isn't hugely helpful. Yeah, these turrets don't seem to be shooting, which is odd. I heard something. Intruder alert. Like they. Oh, 
I looked at him and I just saw I could pick up Jet and I was like, Dance, what are you doing? But no, okay, just in the thing next to him. That makes more sense. But yeah, good lord, there's a lot of fucking ghouls here. No mercy! The fucking speed they come at you is fucking stupid, man. Like, just absolutely stupid. Also, Hold this up. leg is dancing. We're being stalked. Over there! Get him! We've got company! Hostile vaporized! Oh, well, vaporized is a bit much. He is dead, though. Height pistol. Excuse me, dance. Like, still dancing. Psycho. I don't care about the King Gray suit. I've been dressing up my settlers. And <laughs> Even if I did, I'm not sure I would uh, have many of them in a suit. Dude, the airports are huge. Like, I imagine that this is probably like more or less the right size for like the actual Boston airport, because I don't know why they wouldn't why they would make it like a lot bigger or smaller but they never seem that big but then like you clear them out of all people and everything and it just seems like huge uh connection failed through both of those for arrivals and departures that makes sense boston food and drink uh beantown brewery get a taste of the true boston original see real hops and brewing implements on in your visitor center or museum then enjoy a tasting of some of Boston's best ales and lagers. Full brewery tours available by appointment only. Yeah, we were there. Actually, no. Well, we were there. But that's not what I was thinking of. The Beantown Brewery. That's the one that the Raiders took over, right? Is it the Shamrock one that I was talking that I was thinking about? After a hard day's work, nothing beats a night at the pub. Come on down to Shamrock for good times, good friends, and great deals. Authentic Irish fare, daily drink specials, the finest domestic and European beer, whiskey, and liquors on draw. Draft. Draw? Draft, yeah. For some reason they spell it wrong. No, because draft, no, because they do spell draft F-T. I don't know. So maybe it's just the way they spell it. Uh, who cares? Shopping. Let's see. Valence Department. Uh, whether you're searching for a new piece of jewelry or an entire wardrobe, Fallen's Department Store Fallon's Department Store is the place to go. Multiple locations throughout the greater Boston area. Fallon's is always there when you need it. Clean, close, convenient. Be sure to visit our flagship store in West Roxbury, now carrying our entire line of merchandise. Yeah, we were there. The big store. Haymarket Hall. Fine art, handsome furnishings, the cutting edge of modern fashion. If you're looking for a shopping experience that's as classy and sophisticated as you are, look no further than Haymarket Hall. Haymarket for the finer things. Sure, we were there too. Uh, walk the Freedom Trail. Explore the fascinating history and enduring legacy of Colonial Boston by walking the Freedom Trail. Schedule tools, tours. Depart from Boston Common every half hour. Self-guided tours also available. Uh, come and see the fabulous treasures of Jamaica Plain. The stunning exhibit will be on display for one week only before these priceless items are sealed away, never to be seen again. The nation's second largest library, the Boston Public Library, houses a wide array of books and historic records. Lectures, readings, and recitals are offered daily and are free to the public. Call for times. Art and architectural tours are also available. Visitors to Boston are always welcome. Library books can be returned to any of our book return machines conveniently located throughout the city. I wonder if more people would... Uh, Like, if you had a library, and you actually had book return terminals like they do in this game, like all over the place, I wonder if that would actually get more people to read books. Because, I mean, like, you'd obviously still have to go to the library to sign the book out, 
But then if you didn't have to worry about making a special trip back to the library to take it back or whatever, right? I wonder if that would actually get more people interested in reading. Because, I mean, you can schedule a trip to the library to get a book, right? But then you have to, in real life, schedule two trips to the library because you have to schedule one to go there and get the book and one to go Come there and on. return the book. Give it a try. There, that's it. Not bad, is it? Easy now. Hang on. I'll get you some more. <sighs> so Clark's feeding the ghouls. I'm going to quick save here. Because like Who's I said, that? I don't actually you. remember this. Hey, Clark. What are you doing down here? I want answers, Clark. Start talking. Or else. Ugh. Someone was bound to catch me eventually. I can't keep this up forever. All this food. Have you been feeding these ferals? Yes. It's been working, too. What do you mean, it's been working? Why are you doing this? It's a long story. I had a friend who was a ghoul once. As human as you or me. But the Brotherhood... The Brotherhood says ghouls are abominations. They all deserve to die. Would you kill him, too? Just because of who he is? Was he a feral? What difference does it make? Weren't they all human once? So I joined your the Brotherhood opinions. two years ago. In all that time, I never doubted our beliefs. Never questioned them. But during the battle for the airport, the ghouls, they just kept coming. I... I killed... I don't even know how many. They started running away, but we, we kept going. I killed them. I killed them all. Kid, you did what you had to do. That's what Lucia said. But we could have stopped. We could have just driven them off. We didn't have to slaughter them. After the battle, I, I needed some time to think. I found this place. And the ghouls. What could I do? Report it, and they'd all be killed. Ignore them, and they'd attack the base. I thought, if I brought them food, maybe they'd just stay down here. There wouldn't have to be any more killing. Do you... Do you think I did the right thing? Of course not. You betrayed the Brotherhood. You put all of our lives at risk. The Brotherhood is wrong. If we just kill everything we fear, are we really any better than the ghouls? What are you going to do with them anyway? They're monsters, Clark. They have to be destroyed. No! No, I won't just stand by and let you kill them. Not again. I found this in the ruins. It's... It's Knight Ryland's holotag. He worked in the terminal with me. They killed him, didn't they? And as long as they're here, more knights are gonna die. I, I can't be responsible for that. And, and what about me? You should turn yourself in. I suppose so. The captain will never understand. But it's the honorable thing to do. You might respect that, at least. I... I need a few minutes to get my thoughts together. Go on ahead. The elevator's in the next room. You can use my keycard. I'll be up soon. Alright. So yeah, if you just come in here and start killing the ghouls, dude will turn hostile on you and attack you. Obviously, there were multiple options there in order. I feel like our first option. <laughs> the option to fucking execute him, which is... A little harsh, I feel. It's like, ah, I see, you're with ghouls, dead. It's like, okay, at least, like, hear him out. But, no, I mean... Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, then there's another airport. Employee ID card. I don't think there's anything else down here, though. But, yeah, I do believe... Because nice. I don't think I've done the quest before, but I did read about it. And I do believe that if you, uh... Leave the ghouls down here, and you go talk to, uh, to Kel. You can tell him about the ghouls. 
and uh, he tells you that they uh, sent patrols down here to clear him out, but at no point do uh, do the ghouls actually die. Let's see, who wins? Two Protectrons or a bunch of ghouls? Dance really wants to get in there. Oh. Oh, he managed to get some shots in. Warning. Repair urgently required. Sent them back to hell. Did they win? Yeah, they won. Good for you guys. And as you can see a bunch of the food that he's thrown down here. Uh should we even bother? You know what? It's hacking. It's not all picky. I'll gladly hack something Sweet. for the experience. Yeah, it's just the protect drop control again. Situation yeah, normal. Law and order has been restored. Man, that was a lot of fucking ghouls piling onto them. I feel like in reality, if that many ghouls piled onto two protectrons, they probably would have lost. Hostile target detected. Attention, citizen. Just because like the you sheer weight of the numbers your normal would activity. have probably like screwed something up. Yes. Damn, it's still up, eh? Okay, get out the fucking corner. Bust its fucking leg already. Oh, but of course it didn't blow his leg off. Why would it? There we go. Get down. Multiple hostile targets <laughs> detected. Requesting backup. Alright. And one of them set off the fucking flame barrels. I can't help but feel like it was probably Dance who likes to blow shit up. Uh, yeah, and the protection got caught in. I also like how eliminate the ferals was uh, just that one. Make sure you get the glowing one, and then yeah, we'll just count them all as dead. The game is rather <sighs> lax with that, isn't it? I mean, even like the uh, settlement missions and that, where it's like, oh, we're having problems with raiders or Sweet. super mutants or something. P please go clear them out, and then it's like you can go there, pop one in the head, and it's like, all right, we're done. It's like, okay, but like, what about the rest of them? I mean, super mutants aren't that stupid, and raiders aren't that stupid. I mean, if they're harassing a, oh, well, maybe you could. if they're harassing a settlement, and then all of a sudden somebody comes in and pops their leader, they're gonna probably guess why. Oh, we only lost one protectron during that, and uh, there's actually a. Well, I don't know. I was gonna say a decent chance that if I didn't come down here, the protectrons would have taken them all out without lose that one, but I don't know about that. The glowing one, and like I said, there were quite a few uh, quite a few ghouls, so they probably still would have lost one. But... Alright. Man, our radiation was brutal there. Level. It says exit this way, but... Okay. Good. Alright. Ghouls eliminated. Dance admires us. Oh, I should probably talk to him. Hey. Alright. Would it be possible to speak off the record for a moment? Absolutely. Go ahead. Thank you. This is difficult for me to say, so... I hope you'll bear with me as I try to get through it. When you were first placed under my sponsorship, 
I had some serious reservations about it. Despite all that, this has turned out to be a rewarding experience for both of us. At this point, honestly, I don't feel like there's anything else I could teach you about being a Brotherhood soldier that you don't already know. It's apparent from your attitude and your actions that you intend to keep those ideals close to your heart. You're beating around the bush. Is there something you're trying to tell me? Is it that obvious? I've never been very good at these things. Let me start at the beginning. I grew up alone in the capital wasteland. Spent most of my childhood picking through the ruins and selling scrap. When I was a bit older and had a few caps to my name, I moved into Rivet City and opened a junk stand. While I was there, I met a guy named Cutler. We got along pretty well. Watched each other's backs and kept each other out of trouble. When the Brotherhood came through on a recruiting run, we felt like it was a way out of our nowhere lives. So we joined up. I have a hard time picturing you as anything but a soldier. Clearly, I was ignoring my calling. Anyway, about a year after we were posted to the Pridwin, Cutler vanished on a scouting op. It took some convincing, but I was able to persuade my CO to let me assemble a squad and search for him. It took almost three weeks, but we tracked his team down to a super mutant hive. Those wretched abominations had slaughtered everyone but Cutler. He should have been so lucky. The mutant bastards used their FEV to change him into one of their own kind. He wasn't Cutler anymore. I had to... It was my duty to put him down. Are you sure there wasn't anything you can do to change him back? The FEV effect is irreversible. There was nothing anyone could do. You did what the Brotherhood taught you. Then you understand why it had to be done. Ever since Cutler died, I've seen other soldiers come and go. Some were brave, some were honest. Hell, some were even downright heroic. But I'd never considered any of them to be a good friend. A friend like Cutler was. Until now. It's a good feeling, but it frightens me all the same. Having a bond with someone, then losing them. It changes you. I don't want to go through that again. I can't make any promises. I realize that. I just thought you deserved to know how I felt. If you feel that I've overstepped my bounds, I completely understand. Whatever the case may be, I appreciate the fact that you took the time to listen. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so something hey, that I should go do. ahead. Paladin, can I help? Yeah, I'm gonna dismiss it's you. It's about time for you to go, Dance. Affirmative. I'll see what I can do to make myself useful while you're gone. Ad Victorium. And I'm going to send you to where is it? The Sanctuary Hills. Okay. Ready to continue our mission, soldier? Ready. Ready. Roger that. All right. So the reason I did that is because it him he he sucks. Not gonna lie, it's uh it's rough doing his uh to get his perk because there's more than decent chance I'll make enemies of the Brotherhood while doing it. <laughs> but uh, If I send him there, then during one part of the quest when he leaves, he should head back to Sanctuary and I'll be able to find him there. Whereas if I don't do that, then there's a decent chance he'll end up at the airport. I've just received word good. from Sergeant Gavel. Initiate Clark has made a full confession. I gather we have you to thank for it. Clark has been taken into custody, and I've dispatched a patrol team to secure the ruins. I don't think I could have asked for a better outcome. I have some caps for your service. Also... I'd like you to have a piece of armor from my personal collection. Wear it well, knight. 
Exemplars, T60, torso. 10% reduction in action points cost in that. So that's not bad. Alright. So unfortunately, that was the one and only quest that, <laughs> that we can do for the Brotherhood now. But, on the other hand, because that was actually a much longer mission than I thought it was, like way longer than I thought it was, I thought it would be like a 20 minute thing from what I read, but no, that's actually a rather large area. Alright, so yeah, alright, now we're done with the Brotherhood until we go to the Institute, or until we go and talk to What's-His-Face there, so. Now, like I said last time, like I said we were going to do last time, we're actually going to do it this time, though. Uh, we're going to go over to this lake here, and explore the few buildings and that that are around like i said the, the lake itself is a location and then there's a couple of buildings that we need to explore and then after that we're going to be heading into the glowing sea so uh after next part we will be in power armor for a while which will be a annoying change for me i still really don't like the power armor but anyway Thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you next time for more.